The Halloween event for Sea of Thieves is now upon us. Tricksters and Treaters is now live, and it's a very interesting event to say the least. It's a slightly more advanced event that we've had in the past, so let's just jump straight into what this event is about. I'm going to be reading off the Sea of Thieves website because that just absolutely explains it beautifully while having clips of the game and everything to do with what I'm saying on the screen. So anyways, so the Tricksters and Treaters event, they go on to say, ready to mark the season of sinister surprises with some special Sea of Thieves initiatives. Tricksters and Treaters are out competing on the seas, while social tricks and treats can be triggered right here. Read on to find out how. But first, we have Trick or Treat on Twitter. There's gold up for grabs this weekend, but by the very nature of Trick or Treat, it could go either way. It's the time of year when the Jackalooter, a pilfering trickster from the Sea of Thieves folklore, roams the seas in spirit and is ready to toss a coin for anyone bold enough to issue that three-word demand. You might be treated to a glittering handful of gold, or you might be tricked out of a small amount of gold you already have. You ready to find out which it'll be? Step 1. Link your account on the Sea of Thieves website with your Twitter account. Step 2. Send the tweet and share the result. That's obviously not mandatory, but basically they say, once your Twitter account is linked, tweet trick or treat at at Sea of Thieves on Twitter, or just use the handy share card below. Again, you can go on the website. I'll link it down in the comments below. They say, wait around 10 minutes for the Jackalooter to consider your request, then refresh the page to see if you've been tricked or treated. Your share card will update so that you can share the result with seafaring friends. Now, when I did this... I was tricked, sadly, and although I've just done it, the gold hasn't been taken away, so I don't know if there's a bug there, but anyway, if you are treated, then someone said they only got 102 gold. So I'm not quite sure if this is... I mean, it's a fun little thing to do, but the rewards or the tricks don't seem to be, as of present, as of recording this video, that, like, big, so to speak. It's weird they're also limiting it to Twitter, but they do like to do that anyway. Tricksters and Treaters on the Seas. Want to be more active in the tricking and treating? An in-game event running right now encourages you to join in a friendly fight between tricksters and treaters. Each side is aiming to reach its own cumulative community goal before the event ends, and if successful, all players who've contributed enough to that side, use this page to keep track of your own personal contributions, will earn a themed cosmetic reward. You're free to play for both sides, but as a bonus, if your very first contribution is to the side that is the community goal first, you'll earn an exclusive title too. To contribute to the treaters' community goal, Bury treasure, place treasure maps on the quest board, or discover items buried by other players. To contribute to the Trickster's community goal, bury gunpowder barrels, steal map bundles from other crews, or hit ships with purple cursed cannonballs. While playing, you can find details of this event on the special events menu tab. Then, community goals. Trickers and treaters race to complete their own community goal. If your first action ends up contributing to the winning side, you'll receive an exclusive title. So, what this is, is in-game, you'll be able to see that there are two different signs, as they pretty obviously said, the tricksters and the treaters. And there are a hundred actions that need to be done, or some internal counter, there are a hundred something that need to be done for each side before they win. You can contribute to both sides, so make sure you do that, because then you'll get the reward whichever way it goes, but whichever your first action is, you'll get an exclusive title if that side wins, and you won't get it if you contribute to the other side and they lose. We'll get onto that in a second. The two hats look interesting to say the least. They are pretty nice to a degree. The tricking one, in my opinion, is the best one. The treating one's grey with a sweet on it. And the other one, the tricking one, is blue, sort of purpley, with a glowing dagger on it. So by far, that's the easily the best one. So I know which one I'll be rooting for. Interesting that they've made out of 100 as well. That's not something they normally do, such a low goal, for four days. But I guess they want to make sure that everyone gets it. But the issue is then, if people can't, say, play Sea of Thieves until Sunday, they won't be able to contribute to it and thus won't get the rewards anyway. So then, keeping track of your actual progress. It's out of 500 and these are points, not actions. The actions are listed down below, which we'll go through in a second, but basically if you earn 500 points to the treaters and they win, then you'll get the hat. If you earn 500 points to the tricksters and they win, then you'll get the hat as well. And you can do both, as mentioned, so it is a little bit you've got to do. But it's actually not that much in, in general. Walk below and people already completed it. They completed it so incredibly quickly. Anyways, but the important thing is, whatever your first contribution to either side is, will dictate whether you're going to get the title or not. So basically, if you contribute to the tricksters first and the tricksters win, you'll get the title. But if you contribute first to the treaters and the tricksters win, then you won't get the title. 
The actual things that you have to do, so taking part for the treater actions, you can earn a fair amount of points by digging up treasure from quest board maps posted by other crews. You can earn a good amount by donating buried treasure maps to the quest board, and you can earn a great amount by burying treasure. The trickster's actions to the contrary, you can earn a fair amount of points by striking another crew with a purple cursed cannonball. You can earn a good amount of points by stealing another crew's map bundle from their captain's table, and you can earn a great amount of points by burying gunpowder barrels. Now, surprisingly, the tricksters aren't ahead currently. It's not been live for too long, but you'd think that they would be, because whilst the treater actions are easier to complete, the trickster actions, they're more fun in general. Going back to the 100 counter before about which side is actually winning, maybe that's 100 players doing 500 actions, 500 points? Or maybe that's like 1,000 players, so each one will say equivalent to 10 or 100 players? I don't know. Anyway, there's some internal counter there that we're not aware of. But those are the actions. Now, something away from the Tricksters and Treaters event is the Halloween sale. They say during the final weekend of October, you can get your claws on some dark and dangerous Emporium items at intimidating discount prices. Ship sets, pets, costumes, weapons, and emotes are all in the mix, so skull kid and see what you can find from October 28th to November 1st. This obviously mainly targeting the Halloween stuff. And that does actually bring end to the Tricksters and Treaters event. Something that I find quite interesting is that they didn't actually have to do this event, they chose to. They could have quite easily just done the Return of the Damned, and everyone would have been perfectly happy with that. But they did choose to, you know, it's better than most events that we've gotten before. It's not phenomenal, but as I say, it's better than what we have gotten in the past. It is unique as well, but just be careful, because remember, whatever side you pick, that's the one you're locked into for the title. I guess as well what you could do is wait until they're sort of half and a half and see which is ahead, then go for that particular side. Because you still need time to do those 500 actions, although people say, 500 actions? 500 points even, it's not actions. Keep that in mind, it's points. Because people have done this with one island. I've seen tweets of people going on one island, just completely doing it all. Apparently it's really easy to do if you just bury items. So I guess go ahead and do that. I think five items did it for someone, so maybe... a great amount of points is a hundred points per item buried? I don't know. Anyway, we'll have to see about that. Let me know what you think of all this down in the comments below, but that does just bring us to the end of the video. So if you did enjoy, then please do consider leaving a like. It really helps out the channel an absolute ton. And subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest Sea of Thieves news as and when it comes out. While you're at it, why not hit the bell as well so you never miss a single upload. But anyways, apart from all that, thanks for watching and I'll see you later.